25 on RTV6. Suicides among Indiana teens, and tonight, what can be done to stop one of the leading causes of death? There's hope and millions of dollars going into the state schools to try to stop an alarming trend. Here's RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet with a story that's new at 530. Two recent suicides of students at two Indianapolis schools have left teens and their families in disbelief. But now millions of dollars are being deployed into schools like this one to help prevent suicides. Tamara Lundy, who raises money and awareness for suicide prevention, knows the pain of that final and desperate act. I lost my daughter in 2010. So the fact that we're still talking about this, our ultimate goal is a world without suicide. It's just, it reinforces what I need to do. Now Tamara and parents like her are getting a lot of help. Community Health Network Foundation received a nearly $3.7 million federal grant to prevent suicides among kids and adults ages 10 to 24. Our mental health, behavioral health counselors will be able to work directly with schools and with parents and with children and adolescents to be able to prevent, so hopefully to present so there's no more suicides. Our goal is zero suicide. A CDC survey in 2011 found that the percentage of Indiana students attempting suicide was the second highest among 43 states. Suicide is also a leading cause of death for the state's children and young adults. The Community Foundation grant will build a statewide crisis network that includes schools, the juvenile justice system, doctors, lawmakers, and survivors. We're really trying to create a movement that says Suicide is not acceptable anymore. We need to make sure that we do everything we can to prevent it. A bold effort to help save children that are killing themselves at an alarming rate. Chris Prophet, RTV6.